Hello folks, Dave Lawrence here, and I'm going to do a little review about some of my uh, my cycling shoes. An, an older pair here that I've worn for a couple of years. These are uh, the specialized comp shoes. I believe this is their entry level road shoe. I've been riding that for a couple of years. And then there's this this here new uh, Mavic Galibert shoe, which I've only rode a couple times. Um, so I'm still forming an opinion on it, but I think I pretty much know that it's not going to work. <laughs> I don't think the fit is the best fit for me. So I'm going to do a little comparison on the two shoes for you here. Um, again, this specialized shoe, been riding for a couple years, and it, it's been fantastic. You know, it's the three Velcro straps, as you can see. You know, it's a very basic shoe, but it fits, it fits great. Why am I making a change? Just because I felt like it, you know. Or, or, you know, I was noticing some slipping in the heel. And I, there's not a lot I can do to really tighten this up anymore with the Velcro strap. So I don't know if something in here is stretched over time and miles. Or, again, if it's just me, it could be something with my foot. Now, this new shoe, this Galibert, you know, it's got this ratchet system. So I can fasten that down real nice and everything's good with, with the straps here too. Fastens down real good, no slipping in the heel. But there's something in the, I'm going to just say in the shape of this toe box that isn't really working real great for me. And the shoes are just uncomfortable. I mean, they seem to be a good quality shoe. Uh, I'm sure they may last for years or many a mile if, um, if I were going to stick with them. But they're just not comfortable. I mean, I'm, I'm develop, developing a little bit of a hot spot on the outside here. And uh, when I come back from my ride or rides, I've noticed that my, my legs and my feet just feel, feel like they've really worked. <laughs> you know, much more so than when I was doing this. And again, everything, I don't vary my workout a whole lot. Um, so I think it's the shoes, you know. At least in my opinion, it's the shoes. So um, I was also, I guess I might as well just go ahead and show you a little bit more on how this releases. That comes out nice and easy. Slips on real good too. Actually, let's see. Let's show you the shoe here on my foot. Just show you how that. Get that in the right spot. So that fits in real nice. Ratchets down real good. So it's a good solid fit. It's just I'm getting too much pressing over here. And I mean, my toe is in the right spot here as far as the size of the shoe. So there's just something else going on kind of kind of just for me. It just seems to be the shape of the shoe. It's a, it's a good uh, fastening system. It's a nice light shoe. You know, I've got to say it's quite a bit lighter than the Specialized shoe, especially when you look at the bottom here on the rubber stops. I don't know if you can see those. These are real heavy duty on this Specialized shoe. And I, you know, I like that. I mean, these shoes are going to be real durable because of that. I mean, these parts are not replaceable. So that's going to last a good long time um, compared to what you have on this Mavic shoe on these stops. Again, it's, it's good and thick. It doesn't look like it's going to be quite as durable. But then again, I don't do a lot of walking in these shoes. Uh, but when you come to a stop or when you have to rest at a light, if you've got to change a flat, you know, you're going to be on, on these things whether you like it or not. So There you have it, folks. Just a, a little, a new review on some of the newer shoes that I've tried on. The Mavic Galibert, which seems to be a, a good shoe depending on what kind of foot you've got. You know, the shape of your foot. And this good old specialized comp, three Velcro strap. You know, I, I believe probably specialized makes the best shoes out there because of some of their technology. Um, the Varus Wedge, 
and the uh, the art support is just outstanding. But again, I, I can buy those those footbeds and put them in any shoe. I'm just going to find a shoe that's affordable, as I mentioned in the blog post. post. Find a shoe that's affordable and find a shoe that, that fits well. And then I can go ahead and customize it over time. You know, with, with a, a footbed probably from Specialized or, you know, some other company that makes aftermarket footbeds. So there you are, folks. Thanks for taking a look. Peace be with you.